a nice flawless face so I'm going to apply a primer directly to it to ensure that I fill any pores and just even out the skin just a little bit in texture. Then I'm going to take a glue stick and I'm going to run through my brows a few times to flatten them out. I'm going to apply some products onto it later but for now I just want to flatten them out and let them dry fully. I'm going to take two foundations to create my exact shade and I'm going to buff this in with a beauty sponge or beauty blender. With a darker foundation, I'm going to bronze up my face. This has more of a red tone to it. It's an actual foundation for a deeper skin tone, so it looks a little more natural. And I'm going to bronze a little more than I usually do. Then I'm going to take a concealer that are a few shades lighter than my natural skin tone color, and I'm just going to highlight the center of my face. Then I'm going to set that inner part of my face with a translucent powder and the outer part of my face with a contour shade that is almost the same color as the foundation I used. I'm going to take a gold shadow and I'm going to apply this with an angled brush onto my brows. After applying this gold color, I'm going to go in with a brow pencil that is a natural color of my hair and I'm just going to define it just to give it shape. With this orange color from my Morphe palette, I'm going to apply this into the crease and I'm just going to pull the shadow out and up, giving myself a elongated eye. Then I'm going to take this deeper orange color from that same Morphe palette and I'm going to focus this color on the outer corner. With that same gold shadow I used on my brows, I'm going to apply this with my fingertips onto my lid. Then I'll buff out any of the harsh lines. For my lashes, I'm using a Lancome mascara and I'm just applying this to the lower and upper lashes and then I'll go in with some false lashes. I'm going to take this Golden Soleil bronzer from J.Cat Beauty and I'm going right on top of that bronzer that I put on my face to set the cream bronzer I applied and this is going to add an extra glow and then for the high points of my cheeks and on my face I'm going to use my favorite glow and highlighting powder from City Color Cosmetics. Then I'll go and conceal the lash band using a felt tip black liner. Then I'm going to take this net that I found from my pantry and I'm going to create snake-like scales on the top of my forehead in the center. Then I'm going to spray a setting spray to create a more natural look. All of the powders that I applied will look more skin-like. And then I'm going to take that same shadow and apply it to my lips. Now you can leave it like this if you'd like, but I wanted to add a little extra contrast. So I'm going to take a Wonder Lip Paint from JCat Beauty and apply this in the center of my lips. 
For my hair, I used a gold spray from the Spirit Halloween store that you can pick up easily. And then to finish off the look, I am using a flower crown that my sister actually made for this exact look. For this look, I wanted something not so attractive, the complete opposite of the first tutorial you just saw. So we're going to use liquid latex. You definitely don't have to use this, but I wanted to try it out. It's actually my first time here on camera. You watching this right now was my first attempt at applying this on my face. So let's get started by laying down a thin layer of liquid latex, applying toilet tissue, and then applying another thin layer of liquid latex on top of that. Then I'm going to take my nails and kind of peel the toilet paper back and it's going to create the illusion of taking your nails and peeling off your skin. I kind of want it to look like you're exposing like the, the snake skin and just the dirtiness of it. So that's what I did here and I just layered the toilet paper and used more liquid latex to create the desired look. Then I'll take a foundation in my normal shade and I'm just going to apply this right on top after everything has fully dried. And you can see here, I kind of wish the edges were a lot smoother so that way it blended in, but you live and you learn. Then I'll take that fishnet I used in the first tutorial and take some green shadow and create the snake skin. And I'm just going to kind of apply this all over my face where I feel like I would need it. And I'll go in with some red shadow to kind of create wounds, some black shadow to add some depth to it, and go back in with green. And I'll just go back in over and over until I feel like I've accomplished the exact look I am looking for. With a black shadow, I'm just going to apply this onto my lids. I'm going to create a hollowed out look. Um, it kind of looked like a black eye at the end of it, but I kind of like that. So I'm just taking a brush, applying that black shadow all over, and then I'll go in with some red shadow to kind of blend it out. So that way it's not so plain and it just doesn't have black. Then I'm going to fill in my brows with a green lip paint because I didn't have anything else that was as vibrant that would go over my dark brows. And then I'll take that net and create snake skin in areas of my face where I just want a hint of it. I'm not trying to go full on snake skin, but I just wanted little hints of it. Then I messed up my hair um, a lot. And then I sprayed in a little bit of some red hair spray color and I applied some lashes on really terribly, but that was a part of the look I was going for. And then I'm going to go in with some minor details, things that I kind of wanted to fix and apply my favorite flower crown that my sister made for this specific look. So I hope you enjoyed my Medusa tutorials. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment down below, and I'll see you in my next one. Love yous!